Hey everybody, it's Mike from Get Your Rock Out and I am here at Hard Rock Hell in Wales with the fellas from God Sized. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Good. Yeah, man. Cheers, hey. So you guys have got to play tonight. You have to play, you, you need to do two things. You need to go on at one in the morning and you need to follow massive wagons. Which one is more daunting to you? One in the well, morning. Yeah. <laughs> well, the trouble, you know, we're going on at one in the morning is, uh, is not getting too drunk before you go on. There's a lot of time to kill. <laughs> A lot of beers just staring at us, as you can see. So, seeing we've been here since four o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, been it's nine o'clock this morning. Yeah, you know, yeah. So it's been a long day. Lots of time to get ready, get in the zen, get in the mood, and get quite a few drinks in as well. Yeah. I imagine. Yeah. More the latter than anything. <laughs> I mean, get in the zone. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's very interesting being on the first day playing that late because there's only been so many bands before you. I guess people are still kind of traipsing in this time yeah. of the day. I guess 1am is the only real time where you can be guaranteed the full crowd at this first day of the festival, I suppose. You'd hope so. Um, I guess that we were saying earlier, it's sort of banking on everyone's still got their energy. And not pick too, too early. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, you know, I hope... Basically, we want to kill everybody, so whoever's on at lunchtime tomorrow has a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. We'll be good. So let's talk about you guys' sound then. I mean, very well acclaimed so far, you know, with what you've been doing. I mean, are you guys working on any new material at the moment? Have you got anything that's in the pipeline for an upcoming release? We're actually working on a new album at the moment, it's, which is, I would have thought, 80% done. Just got to finish some vocals off and some overdubs and stuff, uh, which hopefully should be out in March sort of time next year and then uh, hopefully that's when the, the touring will start you know hitting the UK and the rest of Europe are you going for a headline tour or are you going to uh, I know you've supported some pretty big names yeah. so far I don't know at the moment uh, I'm hoping to you know jump on a a tour where we're the support band you know so we can go to some different places we've not been before we were just talking about that before the interview started about how we'd like to go somewhere warm I think it's because we were stood outside smoking in, in Wales and the wind in our faces but, but yeah it'd be it's strange it's, it's lovely to um, it's lovely we're lucky that we can do like headline tours and stuff um, but it's also it's great to go out with other bands and see how they do it and also you know it, it gets you out there in front of more fans so a bit of both would be ideal you know do, do our own, we'll be launching it with our own headline shows and then uh, then it'll be festival season and then maybe later on in the year we can uh, jump on with somebody that we like that'd be cool well there's some big, big festivals already you know you've done download bloodstock what do you think of this kind of festival atmosphere you know it's um I don't want to say smaller, you know, it's more it's more of an enclosed space, you know, we're, we're indoors, we've got, um, the atmosphere's a lot more different here. What, what would you say is the uh, the best thing about this festival as compared to something huge like Download that's out there in the open field and, uh, you know, the big stages and that kind of thing? Well, it's cosier here. It's, it's a different atmosphere. Obviously, you're not outside, you're not, you know, camping, but everyone's got their own little chalet and kind of... You know, you can have a few beers, maybe pop out there, get a few more from the fridge and head back well, to the band. creature comforts here, isn't it? Better than a tent, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. But I think it's... Um, I haven't really sort of sampled the vibe as yet, but like you say, everyone's sort of rolling up, I think. So um, I think it's nice. It seems to be like wherever it's a festival, you get that sort of community vibe, I think, straight away. So that's the main thing. And let's be honest, you don't be outside in this weather. <laughs> And have you had a chance, I mean, are you guys going to be here like for the rest of the festival, you're checking bands out, or is it just a case of you're here and then there's another date that you have to shoot off to? Do you get to enjoy the uh, the ambience, as it were? Nah, man, we're, we're, uh, we're out of here tomorrow. Um, not that we've got another show tomorrow, but we we, uh, we have other engagements we've got to get back. We've we got to concentrate on finishing the record. Mm. So we would happily stay and lash it up for a few days, but just doesn't work in our diaries so like yeah it's a, that is one of the, the things about when you're playing a festival rather than going you're often on a tour so you, you you're there hang out a bit and play and get the hell out but but yeah it's um we, we have to have to be on our way unfortunately now on the subject of the new album what were some of the things that people uh, complimented you on on the previous works that you decided like this is what we need to emphasize this time around or was it just a case of we did what we did last time let's just do it again it's a different lineup for this yeah. for this album so yeah 
for, for me, for me, it's it's completely different because obviously I wasn't in the band before um, on the last album. So mm. I think the whole process for the whole band's been completely different. Mm. I think it's been more yeah. natural this time. It's definitely been, I think, a lot easier than last time. You know, Chris has been in the band about just over a year now. We've had that time to work on the material and you know really hone our skills and you know. We're really proud of the, the new songs we've written. Some of them in a different, di different direction than, than we're used to, and a lot of more up-tempo songs. So, it's. Um, I think the big difference between the uh, the first record of time and, and this one that's coming out is the first one was all about like it was a bit more of a logistical nightmare in that we like had to get an album out just to, there was no way of getting around it. We had to get what we had out. And it was it was complicated getting the sort of studio time right and stuff like that, and we had a very clear deadline. This time, we were able. There was no real pressure on us other than to just write the best songs we could. And there was no. It wasn't until it was sort of finished that the sort of window came up with the producer we wanted to go with and in, in the right studio. And it was strange. It was like we had forever, forever, for, and it was like it's two weeks time. We're laying it down. So it was, it was great. It, it was, it sort of captured the energy, which is really cool at the time. It wasn't like we'd had the songs for years. We'd written them, we were happy with them, and then we were lucky enough we could just go in and track them. So it's, that's cool. I think it's a really good, um, a, just a sort of good window of time as to where we are at the moment. You know, it's, it's, it's right where the band is at. So it's cool. So more of a freedom of creative expression because you don't have the time and uh, and also, you know, different writing styles because of new members and everything. Does yeah, totally. oh, this do you feel that now you have like a, a sound that you can focus on? Were you, were you still finding the sound before this album or had you found it and now it's just a case of now we can do it how we want to? I don't, I don't know. I think we've always sounded like God Size, but we don't like to pigeon ourselves into a certain genre of music. You know, we're all into different things and you know ultimately we're a rock band but we like to try different you know a heavier song or a, a more mellow you know we'll say ballad but that that sort of direction you know so we don't like the pigeonhole ourselves into no. you know it's interesting because we've when i think about the record and i can't wait for everybody to hear it there's i know this sounds kind of like pretentious <laughs> but it's like but there is like gav says there's there's some sort of mellow straight up stuff you know real sort of grungy attitude and sort of inspiration on it but then there's stuff that is just like metal <laughs> you know and it, it but it, it does i think it all ties together beautifully you know like it's this is a it's it's still clearly god size sound you know it's cool man well, uh, we'll have to wrap this up very shortly, but I must ask about the uh, the Zach Wild experience, having that guy as a fan of the music. First of all, I mean, what, how did that big up the band's confidence? Yeah, well, I think it kind of started. I think what festival I was at uh, some festival in London. I think it was High Voltage or something like that. I think our manager or someone involved with the band had given a CD to Zach, and I think his oldest son, I think it's Jesse listened to it, loved it, and I said to his old man, you know, you've got to check this band out, you know, and he loved, loved the band and he offered us the tour, he offered, offered us the UK tour first, and then, and then, you know, we ended up doing the whole European tour, which was like seven weeks around Europe, yeah, it was a fucking blast, it was awesome, you know, it's our hero, you know, go on tour, and like, a really nice guy, took time out to hang out with us, and party with us as well, you know, so, and yeah, what can I say? Love to do it again. And that's the, the thing as well. I think like the whole foundation of what we're able to do now is built built from that tour, isn't it? Like it's, yeah, definitely. It's, you yeah. know that 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 got the band out there. Yeah, we got to go to places we've never been before, all across Europe. You know, and uh, we, we we you know continue to go back to those places: Germany, France. You know, so yeah. Did he guys pick his brains or anything, or was it just... I mean, did he? Did you have one of those moments where, you know, you'd played a show and kind of you saw him on this side of the stage and he was just looking going, yeah, these guys... Well, are he's off, he was off, often there, most shows, like, rocking out to it, you know, the rest of the band, and it's, yeah, it was very surreal sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, unfortunately, I have to wrap this up. You guys have got to get a lot of drinking in before you do your, uh, your show tonight. Do you have a message into the camera for all our readers that get your rock out? 
Hello, well, Chris. <laughs> Get your fucking rock out. <laughs> <laughs> That's as good as note as any to end it on. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys on stage in about four hours' time. Thanks very much. Thank you.